All right, real quick equilibrium demonstration. We have uh, two tubes filled with a mixture of gases. Uh, one of the gases up here on there is NO2, and it's brown in color. And the other gas is N2O4, and it's colorless. Now I have one tube uh, placed in a beaker of warm water, and the other one obviously placed in cold water. And you can see there's a contrast in the colors. One of the hot beaker is a darker brown than the one in the cold. I'm going to switch them around, okay? So I'll put the one that was in the hot in the cold, and the one that was in the cold and the hot. I'm just going to wait a minute, and I want you guys to think quickly. Uh, what side, look up here if you would, what side of the equation would I place delta H? So I'm going to decide based upon what happens in these tubes whether or not this reaction is exothermic, meaning heat is produced on the product side, or it's endothermic, heat is needed on the reactant side. And I can do that by seeing how the equilibrium shifts when I change temperature. Think about this. We talked about this last time. Let's see if we've waited long enough here. So let me see. This one was light in color when it was cold. Been with me on this? This one was dark when it was hot. Let's see if we have any type of change in color intensity. Is there a shift? Yeah, the one that got hot is now uh, more intense. The one that got cold is less intense. So, to what side do you think I should put delta H? <coughs> Dylan, what do you think? The left side. The left side. Let's try it on the left side for a minute. Of course, you don't get off that easily because you're going to explain why you put it on the left side. Um, it takes heat for that to turn different color, so it would be an exothermic reaction. So it took heat for it to go colorless. Um, no. Hmm. Did it take heat for this to go colorless? No. It took heat to make it brown. To make it brown. Should we try it on the other side? We put it over here. Let's see if you call it exothermic. That gives then heat to make it colorless. Okay, that might work. Let's see if uh, if I was at equilibrium and I added heat, which I'm doing in the hot beaker, will it shift to the right and go colorless and produce more heat, or will it shift to the left? and go brown and use up that heat. Okay. Should shift to the left, shouldn't it? Isn't that what happened when I heated it up? And then of course, if it gets cold, won't it shift to the right towards the heat and become more colorless? Mm -hmm. All right, so the temperature, the change in temperature can affect a shift in the equilibrium. Okay? 